just came home from BJ's warehouse and I had got my one of my rotisserie chickens, Wesley Farms, Purdue. It's three pounds and it was $4.99. It was $5 and it, and it came and I got all this nice juice in the bottom of the bag still. And I took the chicken and I took the white meat off of it. I took the brown meat off of it. And these are the scraps which are left. Now I could take these scraps and put them in water and boil them up for a little while and get some nice broth out of it. I don't want to waste any of that juice. In fact, I'm going to take the juice in the back here. I'm going to add some water. To, well, first of all, I'll pour this in onto my juice here. Well, I'll add some water to get the rest. Get the rest of the drippings, drippings from the rotisserie chicken in there. Pour it in there. Then I'll add probably another cup of water. Put this on the stove and cook it for maybe. Okay, the chicken uh, has cooked down, and I have some nice broth there. Jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this. It's, it's cool now. See that lovely broth, and I'll pick out what I want out of there. And uh, nice, nice, very nice. So, and I'm gonna pick out uh, all the junk out of here. And I'll leave the broth. So this will this is uh this is no well this is some meat here if you want somebody wanted the meat on here. Uh there's you take the meat off. But uh we make it a pot pie, so I'm gonna stick this all in here. And okay, so there's my broth. There's the leftover that's going for the chickens or the creature out back. Okay, bowl, and you gotta make the filling for in here. So, I'm gonna take my chicken meat from yesterday. I'm gonna use just the brown meat, but Bruce does not eat brown meat, so I'm gonna use the white meat. That way he might eat the chicken pot pie. Otherwise, I know he won't. So, probably a couple cups of the chicken, a couple cups, probably a for inside that container there, if you like a lot of chicken, okay, that much to go in there. Cup of this lovely broth. No, we're not gonna do a cup. We're gonna do a, uh, yeah, a cup of broth. So all together, there's a cup of the broth right there. Cup of the broth. Okay. Put that aside for something else. Now to this, we're going to add, we have to have flour to thicken it, and then we have to have some heavy cream or half and half to add to it to mix it up. Okay, so heavy cream, I'll probably add a half a cup of heavy cream. Okay, I'm going to put it in my pan that I just got my... I'm going to add here, I have to thicken it. So you can either thicken it with flour, cornstarch. I'm going to use flour, a quarter of a cup of flour. Quarter of a cup of flour. Okay. And stir it up. While it's cold. Add some butter to it. A chunk of butter, maybe a third of a stick. And one, two, there's a there's a stick, so there's about a third of a stick right there. Or three tablespoons. Okay. Put it on the stove and heat it up. Put it on the stove. Heat up until it boils and becomes thick. Probably, uh, let's, we'll measure it. Okay. 
couple of mixed vegetables. Okay. Now, you see this? This is all going to go in here with the sauce. I'm going to make a nice size. Of course, if you want more, you just add more vegetables or more chicken. You can add a little bit of onion or a little bit of garlic or uh, celery. People, some people add celery. I'm going to add just a little bit of granulated garlic granulated garlic because I add granulated garlic to just about everything as I just like the flavor of it. It adds a nice little flavor to it. Okay, it's melting. Butter's melting. It's going to get thick. There it is. Getting thick already. Turn it down so it doesn't get too thick. Okay. Add the vegetables and the chicken. Okay, now that's what this this is stuff that's gonna go in your chicken pot pie. Now you can add a little bit more liquid if you like. A little bit more liquid. I don't know. It, it might be just to thin it out just a tad. But when it goes in the there we go. Just you want to have it the consistency of um uh, thick hand cream. There it is, right there. Okay, then I'm going to take my innards that I have here. That should be off, not on. Okay, get a spoon, pour it into here. This is a little bland because there's no salt or pepper or onion or anything in it. So, I'm going to add a little bit of salt in it. Uh, very little bit of salt. And I'm going to add a few more spices to kick it up a bit. Alright? So, what do we want to add in this? Okay, we just did the salt. How about some black pepper? Black pepper. We'll add some black pepper, make it a little better. Spicier. Okay, and what else do I think? I think I've got some garlic scapes. Yeah, I've got a garlic scape in here. I'm going to add a garlic scape. Okay. Uh, if you don't have a garlic scape at home, use some, uh, 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 maybe some scallions. Okay. Stirring that up. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Right. Let's add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese, just to see what this is going to do. So let's maybe add, let's, let's see, probably. That, that just, okay. That's probably um, three tablespoons, four tablespoons. Mm, now that smells much better. Much zippier, zingier, tastier, different. Not just bland. Okay. Okay, now. Okay. I'm going to use... That's a half a cup. There's a cup. A cup of flour. Okay? A cup of flour. Because that's a half a cup, so a cup of flour. And uh, a third of a cup of shortening. A third of a cup. A third of a cup of shortening. Okay? That's about a third of a cup. Okay. 
hand, we cut the flour in. Oops. We cut the flour in. We turn the oven on to 400. I so like little little balls of like little golden balls of flour here. Then you take your ice water, your ice water. You pour in some, not too much. Mix it around until you get it so that it's the consistency of play-doh. A little bit more. Like Play-Doh. That looks like Play-Doh to me. Alrighty. Need the Play-Doh. Okay. Smells like butter flavored Crisco. Smells wonderful. Okay. And get my rolling pin. some flour on the board here. Take this out. That's quite a bit. We like a thick crust. Sure, we're going to use the whole thing. Delicious. Alright. There we go. Ah. Roll it out. Fit that. Mm, it's about that size. And There. Probably a little more over here. Make it a little even. Okay. Now, cut some lines on the top of it for the heat to escape. Put it in the oven at 400 degrees for oh half hour. And we'll see what happens. Just out of the oven. Very hot. Uh, and I had to put it on on a cookie sheet because it was overflowing. But you can see there's the overflow, but it's done, it's cooked, and there it is, chicken pot pie.